Morning and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. I'm Mark and I'm going to take you for a tour around our 2010 Mitsubishi Triton GLX Ute today. We'll start at the front of the car and uh, just highlight the fact that um, even for a 2010 virtually unmarked the Juco. If I wanted to be really particular, a couple of really minor touch-ups, um, I'd have to get this close to even be able to see them. Um, virtually, virtually unmarked, which is uh, a, a really good example of it. And we move around down to the driver's side of the car now and presents in very similar order. Uh, the Juco, virtually as new, uh, struggle to find a scratch or even a little dint anywhere on the car. Important to note that it does have factory steel wheels, so being a 4x4, it's set up so it's ready to go off-road. Um, you know, rather than having alloy wheels where in the event you're in some really off, rough off-road stuff, um, you don't risk a fracture in the alloy because uh, you just got the steel wheel. As we move down around towards the rear of the car, um, tailgate area all presents in very similar order. Important to note that uh, it does have the tow bar fitted, uh, two and a half ton towing as well, so it's, it's going to do your towing requirements really easily. All of the chrome badging through the tailgate as well. It is the GLX and 4x4, so uh, important to note that, uh, yeah, certainly ready to go off-road for you as well. Now moving down around the passenger side of the car as well, um, you've got to be really impressed with this example of, uh, of a GLX Triton because uh, the Juco is just in really good order. For a car that's approaching uh, four years old, um, so far in its life it's been maintained really well. So uh, overall, uh, really impressive, the exterior of this motor car. Moving around under the bonnet of the Triton now, we'll have a bit of a chat about the drive line and the performance of the Triton. It is powered by a two and a half litre turbo diesel high performance motor and it's going to deliver you 100 kilowatts of power and 314 newton metres of torque. So it's got the performance uh, and, and the power, but the beautiful thing about this car is it's also going to give you a combined fuel economy of 8.2 litres per 100 k's. So you're going to expect up to 900 kilometres out of a tank of diesel in this car, 75 litre fuel tank. So it, gives you, it certainly gives you the range and it gives you the performance at the same time. Coming around to the tailgate now, we'll just drop the tailgate down. You do notice that it is fitted with a uh, factory tub liner and it is relatively unmarked. As you can probably see, yes, we did get about 20 mils of rain overnight. So we've got, our, got ourselves a little duck pond in the back of the Triton there at the moment as well. So uh, just condition wise, just as far as the exterior goes and in the back of the tub there, you, you know, it presents consistently that it's been really well maintained so far in its life. So now we move to the interior of the Triton and we'll just run through uh, all of the features of the car. We'll just turn those wipers off. Uh, we'll start on our driver's armrest and we've got all our controls for our power windows. Uh, you can also isolate the uh, other windows um, and just prevent passengers operating them up and down if you wish. Um, do note over below our air conditioning vent just on the right hand side we have our controls for our exterior mirrors, uh, power mirrors left and right so we can adjust them from there. Then our steering wheel is height adjustable as you can see I can set myself up where I'm really comfortable. Um, you know give yourself a really good view of all of the gauges so that uh, you can see what's happening. On our steering wheel you'll also note we do have the factory settings for cruise control. Um, so all fairly straightforward. I mean the Triton was designed as a, a bulletproof off-roader or tradies ute so simple setup but uh, you've got everything you need. Moving into the centre console section now you notice we've got a double DIN head unit so it does have CD with MP3 compatibility. We do have our USB and auxiliary inputs as well. Um, and uh, you can basically just set up all your music through there. Moving down into the centre section now, you do know just at the front there we've got a 12 volt outlet, 5 speed manual gearbox and 4x4 as we mentioned earlier. So uh, just that 4x4 uh, option coupled with as we mentioned earlier the steel wheels, it's set up ready to go off road um, and they're a bulletproof off roader as well. We just have our handbrake back to the uh, rear of the gear stick we've got our cup holders there as well and then just our little storage compartment in there for all your goodies fairly good size storage compartment as well 
Important to note while we're going around the interior of the car, the condition of the, uh, the interior, the seats, obviously vinyl flooring being a 4x4, so when you're in those muddy off-road terrain, you get dirty inside, it's just a matter of hosing out the interior. Um, but you know, for a car that's done 109,000 Ks, which of course is nothing for a turbo diesel, um, just the way the car's been maintained so far in its life is really impressive. And that leads me to the service books. Um, it was a company owned car. And part of the reason this car presents so well inside and out is, is due to the history. It was owned in country Victoria and starting on the first page, our servicing, the books are stamped all the way through. So all of the intermediate services and the major services have been carried out all the way through to the current service, the intermediate service, which our service department have just carried out. So, you know, car tends to present the way it's been looked after mechanically, which is outstanding, actually. So, uh, you know, you've got all the peace of mind in the world. The other really important thing to note with this car is that you still do have new car warranty until the 14th of May 2015, or up to 130,000 kilometres. So when you're looking at this car, priced really well, peace of mind of new car warranty, um, and it's ready to go off-road, you can't go wrong. So in summary, um, 2010 GLX Triton manual 4x4 ute, does have tow bar, two and a half ton towing, does have balance of new car warranty. Um, everything about these, they're a bulletproof off-roader, or if you're gonna use it as a tradies ute, you can't go wrong. Super reliable car. Hope this gives you a really good idea of the quality of our car. Feel free to give us a ring, 9907 555.